What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday, and we're talking tight ends today. Uh, Oregon has had a good run of success over the last 10 years with their tight ends. Uh, guys like Justin Peel, George Reister, Dante Rosario, Ed Dixon have all seen time uh, in the NFL after their Oregon careers were over. And with the graduation of David Paulson, now it's time to usher in a new era. This unit is extremely thin. Uh, Colt Lyerla, the presumptive uh, number one tight end, uh, he, we saw his skills as a true freshman last year, but he's been dealing with some off-field stuff and is only in his second day of camp today. Uh, he won't have pads on until next Tuesday after the uh, five-day um, acclimation period uh, to practices. Though he did come in, judging from the picture that's been floating around Twitter, uh, I can only assume that those personal issues he were dealing with was uh, planting explosives in the sewers beneath Gotham City and attempted a hostile takeover. Uh, so good luck to you on that one. Um, but beyond Colt Lyerla, this is a very unproven group of tight ends. Uh, I think if the season were to start tomorrow, we'd see junior Brian Teague as the starting tight end and his uh, biggest accolade to date at Oregon is he was the 2009 scout team offensive player of the year. So that gives you an idea of what we're dealing with uh, at tight end. Brian Teague, uh, he's the most experienced member of the group that's not Layerla, but he has not caught a pass in his career, which uh, is a little bit concerning uh, when you think about, you know, what if we lose Layerla to injury or what if it you know takes him longer to come back off of his off-field stuff and he you know doesn't have the sophomore campaign that we are all hoping that he has. Other than Teague, <clears throat> there are three true freshmen uh, in fall camp, all of them six foot six, all of them very talented. And this is a spot where we could definitely see some true freshmen have some production, whether it's Farrow Brown, uh, Evan Bayless, who is also in spring camp, he caught two balls in the spring game, or TJ Daniel. Any of those three guys really um, could see the field this year and could get some uh, some considerable action. Uh, the coaching staff has already spoken to Farrow Brown and TJ Daniel in particular, looking very good in camp thus far. Uh, other than that, we have two converts from the defensive side of the ball, uh, Koa Ka'ai, who is a defensive end last year, and Jennings Stewart, previously of the linebacking core. So that's what we're looking at at tight end. Um, it's a unit that definitely has some work to do, but especially with the arrival of the three true freshmen. It's a unit that can be productive both in the blocking and in the pass catching game. Uh, that's it for today. Um, the wide receiver post that I had last week, uh, it's not showing up on my channel page uh, as of the last time I checked it. I'm not really sure why, so I'm going to include a link right down there. Um, if you want to check that out, it is public. It's just not on the page, so it makes it a little harder to find. But there's a link right down there for you. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe up there. Subscribe to SB Nation. Subscribe to Team Reports. Subscribe to Shutdown Fullback, Bomani Jones, the whole jazz. And we will see you on Friday where we take a look at the offensive line. Go Ducks.